Hi, good evening. My name is Father Rayapa. <clears throat> I'm discussing about Gandhian economics. Gandhi wrote a book called Swadeshi in 1908. Ever since, people talk about Swadeshi and also it's associated two other terms, Swaraj and uh, Sarvodaya. So all the three are uh, interconnected. Swadeshi principle calls for Swaraj because Swaraj is responsibility. It's about self-rule. So if you have a responsibility naturally, you will work for the common good. So that is Sarvodaya, upliftment of all. Swadeshi, service to my immediate neighbor. So it calls for the truth and ahimsa from an individual and also ahimsa and truth can be attained only through uh, self-rule and self-practice and if you have ahimsa and love naturally you have altruism, you have empathy created and naturally Sarvodaya will flow out of Swaraj and Swadeshi. So that is the principle. So already I made one segment on Swadeshi yesterday. You can check it out on YouTube. Just type my name Raya Pakasi dash Swadeshi. So this is the second segment I'm going to talk on Swaraj. Swaraj is simply self-rule. Uh, that rule should be uh, anchored on uh, positive values. So it can be inner Swaraj or outer Swaraj. Inner Swaraj, if I am ruled by Ahimsa and truth, outer Swaraj naturally will reflect Ahimsa and a perfect society. We can see common good in our politics in India. But if inner rule is anchored in evil, greed, anger, violence, you tell me now, outer rule, now you tell me, how does it feel as an Indian? So. What you feel outside, it is not happening out there. It's an illusion. It is within you. So you need to re-examine the inner part of you. And a lot of things we have constructed with wrong material. And we need to deconstruct all those stuff. And we have to reconstruct. First constructed, very bad. Now you need to deconstruct and reconstruct. So that is what the process of Swaraj is all about. Anyway, the concept of Swaraj or self-rule was developed during the Indian freedom struggle. In his book Hind Swaraj, Hind Swaraj, Gandhi sought to clarify that the meaning behind Swaraj was much more than simply wanting the systems of English rule without the Englishman. The tiger's nature, but not the tiger. So that is the principle. The crux of his argument centered on the belief that the socio-spiritual underpinnings of British political, economic, bureaucratic, legal, military and educational institutions were inherently unjust, exploitative and alienating. As the writer Pinto explicates, the principal theme of Hind Swaraj is the moral inadequacy of Western civilization, especially its industrialism, its economic growth as the model for free India. Gandhi was particularly critical of the deeply embedded principles of might is right and survival of the fittest. Mahatma Gandhi didn't, write, didn't like that, both the principles. On another level, the call of Swaraj represents a genuine attempt to regain control of the self that is our self-respect, self-responsibility. 
and capacities for self-realization. As Gandhi states in his Hindu Swaraj, it is Swaraj when we learn to rule ourselves. The real goal of the freedom struggle was not only to secure political azadi, azadi means in Hindi, independence. So the goal was not to secure political azadi from Great Britain, but rather to gain true Swaraj, that is liberation and self-rule. It is not the British you have to throw them out, but it is your ego, it is your self-interest, it is your greed, it is your anger, it's your violence, it's your intolerant attitudes, it is your ignorance. So that is what you have to throw out and go after good stuff like mercy, compassion, non-violence and truth. Satya, that is what Mahatma Gandhi wanted for each and every Indian to possess. Gandhi wanted all those who believed in Swaraj, two things, the one reject and wholly uproot the British Raj, so that includes also our own, uh, our own suppression to evil our own addiction to evil. So when you talk about British Raj, don't think about external political system you're throwing out, also internal system. You throw out all those addictions from the inner Swaraj. So from within themselves and their communities, so also from within ourselves and our communities, purge all that is evil. The second one, to regenerate new reference points, systems and structures that enable individual and collective self-development. So in other words, the first thing is deconstruct from British rule and also our inner uh, evil part, deconstruct. Now reconstruct with genuine uh, self-respect, structures, systems, reference points for the common good. This time uh, individual progress is the community progress. So ultimately the inner Swaraj should lead to the common good in the outer Swaraj. That is whole of India we are talking about. What is the use of 15% rich people in India? That is depressive system. That is evil. There should be equity, equality and there should not be any discrimination whether it is religion or politics or color or creed or economy. So that is the way I see it. This gener regeneration was to grow from the strengths, perspectives, wisdom and experiences of people living in village India rather than from cities in Britain, America and even in India for that matter. Understanding the real self and its relation to communities and society is critical to the project of attaining Swaraj. How is this relevant for us today? We feel that South Asia along with the rest of the world is experiencing a tremendous crisis one overwhelming in its scale and pace of growth. So we need to come to the realization and take charge of our own inner dimension before we attempt to fix something outside. So let us learn from Mahatma Gandhi and let us heed and create a better world for you and for others. Thank you.